Oh yeah, what is up? I'm Ethan, your Real Life English Fluency Coach, and today I have a dynamite lesson for you from one of my personal favorites, Modern Family. And in this scene, we will see that Gloria is an awful, awful singer, probably a lot like myself, but, you know, I know I'm a horrible singer. Gloria does not. And we will see what happens when her husband tells her the cold, honest truth. If this lesson and the scene makes you laugh or learn something, then why don't you help us to continue making new lessons like this for you by hitting the like button and subscribing down below. All right, let's jump in to this scene from Modern Family. Hush, little baby, don't say the word. Papa's going to bird you a mockingbird. I need the mockingbird won't sing. Papa's going to bird you a diamond ring. Papa would buy ten diamond rings to get that mockingbird to shut the hell up. But I wasn't going to tell Gloria she was a terrible singer. That's just taking a bath with a toaster. Still the thought of that poor little thing stuck in there like a hostage, listening to that racket days on end. I just couldn't take it. And if the Billy got one push, Papa's gonna kill the Billy God. I'll tell you what Papa's gonna do. He's gonna take a turn on that mic. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been thinking if it's a chance to bond, I should take it. Oh, AJ, that's great. I think that the sound of my voice shouldn't be the only thing that the baby should hear. Same page. Breaker, breaker, Big J. Baby, what's your 20, over? Why, oh, that's so cute. You sound like Smokey and the Bandido. Go on, go on. Hi, kid. This is your dad, Jay Pritchett. Uh, we're all pretty excited to meet you. Just a heads up. I might be a few years older than you're expecting, but on the plus side, we're very comfortable. <laughs> What's that? Nothing. Tough woman. What are you doing in there? You sleeping? <laughs> Are you sleeping? Ah, 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 still daddy's turn. Leaving 17 dead and thousands without power. Hi, Jay, please. It's bad that the baby listens to such terrible things. It's heard worse. Jay, do you know a good one-hour dry cleaner? And I don't mean the must be in by 10, only on weekdays you need a coupon kind. I mean a hard one hour. This conversation feels like a hard one hour. And what do you need to clean for? It's spotless. There's mustard here from Reuben's Reuben. That's what happens when you put a narcissist in charge of snack day. OK, it's my turn again. Baby, is your mother again? Gloria, why don't we give him a break? He probably needs a minute because he just learned about a deadly tornado. OK, stop calling him a he. What if he's a she and you're making her upset? I told you, that's just the shorthand I'm using. Don't jump my down God, my throat you every always, time. You think I don't like this. Do you really want your unborn baby to hear you fighting like this? Studies show it's unhealthy for a fetus to be exposed to a stressful environment. Studies? You're 13. Read a comic book. What time does your game start? I have to be there at 3 for hitting practice. Batting practice. Not for me. Jay, I don't want our baby to think that he's coming into an unhappy home. Let's promise that we're never, ever going to fight in front of him. No fighting in front of the baby. OK, good. Twinkle, twinkle, little light. Gloria, stop it. I am stop it. Going. No more singing. Why? Because you stink. You're a terrible singer. Come on, let's get some lunch. How dare do you uh, tell uh, me uh, that uh, I, I am? No, 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 no fighting in front of the baby. We just made a deal. Yeah, but that's not fair because I am always in front of the baby. Gloria, you're as close to perfect as a woman gets. Nothing wrong with one tiny little flaw. Yours is when you start to sing, it sounds like something got stuck in the vacuum cleaner. That's your job. Ah, no. That is just your stupid. Stupid opinion, Jay. But I am very angry at you, and I am going to make a list of all the things that I am going to scream at you as soon as this baby is out of me. I didn't think it all the way through. Please rise for the national anthem. I'm going to show you who can sing. Gloria. Mm. Oh, this can be rough. Despite all the evidence to the contrary. Which I guess isn't so bad. And the rock gets regular. All I'm saying is I hope to God you don't have your mother's singing voice 
But man, I hope you get her self-confidence. <laughs> try to get some sleep. I'll talk to you in the morning. Hush, little baby, don't say the word. Papa's going to bird you a mockingbird. Hush used to tell someone to be quiet, calm, or still. Example, she was trying to hush her baby. Mockingbird, an American bird that copies the sounds made by other birds. Pop it by 10 diamond rings to get that mockingbird to shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Shut up is used to tell someone to stop talking. Note that this often is said with an angry tone and shouldn't be used if you want to communicate with a respectful manner. Shut the hell up is an even more aggressive way to say the same thing. Example, John was about to spill the beans when I told him to shut the hell up. Here Jay is making a play on words with the famous nursery rhyme that Gloria is singing. But I wasn't gonna tell Gloria she was a terrible singer. That's just taking a bath with a toaster. That's just taking a bath with a toaster. By this, Jay is basically saying it is a suicidal act or a very bad idea. This comes from the concept of committing suicide by electrocuting yourself taking a bath with a toaster. Still the thought of that poor little thing stuck in there like a hostage, listening to that racket days on end. I just couldn't take it. Stuck in there like a hostage. To be stuck is to be in a position where you can't move. Example, he thought he could fit through the hole, but now his head is stuck. And a hostage is a person who is captured by someone who demands certain things to be done before letting them free. Example, the robbers took several hostages in the bank. Listening to that racket, a loud, unpleasant noise of a person making such a noise. Example, when the neighbors threw a party, he hated the late night racket so much that he called the police. Days on end. On end means to be happening for several days in a row. This is also said as hours, weeks, or years on end. Example, when he got his PlayStation 4, he played on that thing for days on end. I just couldn't take it. If you say you can't take something, it means you can't tolerate it. Example, I used to be okay with her negative attitude, but I can't take it anymore. By the way, on end is a super common expression in English. Can you think of an example? Why don't you pause the video, write that down in the comments below. Okay, did you do it? Then let's get back to the lesson. And the baby got one push, Papa's gonna kill the Billy Go. Billy Go, a male goat. Here Gloria is making up new lyrics. It is funny because a nursery rhyme would not end with killing an animal, but it is making fun of her Colombian roots. I'll tell you what Papa's gonna do. He's gonna take a turn on that mic. Take a turn on the mic. To take turns is to alternate doing something with somebody else. So Jay is saying that he's going to take a turn on the mic, the shortened word for microphone, in order to talk to the baby and prevent Gloria from singing. Yeah, I've been thinking if it's a chance to bond, I should take. To bond. To become close to another person by getting to know them and having things in common. Example. In the beginning, I didn't like Aaron, to be honest, but later on in the year, we started to bond. I think that the sound of my voice shouldn't be the only thing that the baby should hear. Same page. To be on the same page. If you're on the same page with someone, it means you agree with them or are thinking the same thing. Example. After some initial disagreement, we got on the same page as far as what name to give our baby. Breaker, breaker, big J, baby, what's your 20, over? Breaker. This is a popular term in truck driver talk from the famous 1977 action comedy movie, Smokey and the Bandit, which Gloria mentions when she says Smokey and the Bandido. Bandido is Spanish for bandit. For truckers, breaker, breaker is used to start a communication. Jay does this for fun because the machine they use to talk to the baby seems like a truck's intercom. What's your 20? Used to say, what's your location? This is most commonly used in radio communication. You're just a heads up. I might be a few years older than you're expecting, but on the plus side, we're very comfortable. <laughs> a heads up. If you give someone a heads up, you warn that person about something before it happens. Example, my friend gave me the heads up that I should take warm clothes when I visit her in her town. On the plus side, used to introduce the favorable view or perspective of something that also has a negative aspect. Example, the team ended up losing, but on the plus side, we got to watch the game live and had a good time with friends. What's that? Nothing. Tough womb. Tough womb. When a comedian or entertainer performs in front of an audience and they don't react positively, they might say tough room. But Jay makes a play on words with womb, 
because the baby is the audience. Tough means difficult, and womb is the place in a woman's body where the baby grows and develops. <laughs> what are you doing in there? You sleeping? <laughs> what are you doing in there? <laughs> what are you doing in there? You sleeping? Jay, do you know a good one hour dry cleaner? And I don't mean the must be in by 10, only on weekdays you need a coupon kind. I mean a hard one hour. This conversation feels like a hard one hour. A one hour dry cleaner, a business that dry cleans clothes, particularly in one hour or less. Dry cleaning is a process for cleaning clothes using special chemicals instead of water. This conversation feels like a hard one hour. This joke is a wordplay with the double meaning of the word hard. First of all, Manny, the kid, says that he needs his shirt cleaned in a hard one hour, which means the one hour time limit is hard or not flexible. Jay makes a joke saying that this conversation feels like a hard or difficult hour. And what do you need to clean for it, spotless? There's mustard here from Reuben's Reuben. That's what happens when you put a narcissist in charge of snack day. Spotless, without any spot or stain. In other words, perfectly clean. Example, the kitchen was spotless when I finished cleaning it. Mustard, a thick yellow or brown sauce usually eaten on hot dogs or sandwiches. Reuben's Reuben. A Reuben is a type of sandwich. This is funny because his friend's name is Reuben and he got everyone Reuben sandwiches for snack day. And this is also why Manny calls him a narcissist. Narcissist, someone who loves and admires him or herself, especially his or her appearance too much. Snack day, a snack is a smaller amount of food that you eat between meals, like some cookies or a fruit. In the USA, it is common in schools to have a snack day every week where students take turns bringing food for everyone. Why don't we give him a break? 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 To give someone a break means to give somebody a rest from something. It can also mean to stop treating someone in a strict or difficult way. Okay, stop calling him a he. What if he's a she and you're making her upset? I told you, that's just the shorthand I'm using. Don't jump right, down yeah, my throat. You always, you think shorthand, a short or quick way of showing or saying something. Example, NYC is shorthand for New York City. Jump down someone's throat to react angrily to something that someone says or does and with a verbal attack. Example, he asked her a very simple question and she jumped on his throat. I have to be there at three for hitting practice. Batting practice. Not for me. Batting practice, a practice session in baseball consisting of hitting the ball with a bat. No fighting in front of the baby. No fighting in front of the baby. No fighting in front of the baby. Twinkle, twinkle, little light. Twinkle, the oscillating brightness that is released from a light. For example, a star. Gloria is trying to sing the classic nursery rhyme, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. But it seems she's confusing the song with another one, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Because you stink. You're a terrible singer. Stink, a slightly less aggressive version of saying suck, as in, she sucks at singing. To stink or suck in this case means to be bad at something. Example, they usually play well at the start of the game, but they stink at the end. No fighting in front of the baby, we just made a deal. Make a deal, to come to a formal agreement, often in business. Example, I can't believe they made a deal with that oil company. They really have no ethics left. Example, we made a deal with our son. If he doesn't pass his math exam, he has to wash the dishes for a month. Gloria, you're as close to perfect as a woman gets. Nothing wrong with one tiny little flaw. Yours is when you start to sing, it sounds like something got stuck in the vacuum cleaner. That's your job! God. You're as close to perfect as a woman gets. The base expression here is to be as good as it gets, but note that you might replace good for another adjective. If something is as good as it gets, it means it can't get any better. Example, The Godfather is as good as a movie gets. You probably know the famous Oscar winning Jack Nicholson movie as good as it gets by a different name in your native language. Flaw, a small fault or weakness. Example, she's a great example of a leader, but I'd say one of her few flaws is that she's a bit sensitive at times. Vacuum cleaner, an electrical machine that cleans floors, rugs, etc. by sucking up dirt and dust. I didn't think it all the way through. Think something through. To carefully consider the possible results of doing something. To think something all the way through achieves the same meaning, but with an added degree of emphasis. Example, I bet she now knows she didn't think it all the way through when she decided to quit her job. Please rise for the national anthem. Rise. Generally, the word means to move upward. In this case, as a command to pay respect to the national anthem, it means to stand up. Another common collocation you probably know is sunrise. National anthem. An anthem is a formal song of loyalty, praise, or happiness, 
A national anthem is a song recognized as a country's song. In this scene, Gloria sings the Star Spangled Banner, the national anthem of the United States. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Despite all the evidence to the contrary. This is gonna be rough. Used to say that something is going to be difficult or will not end well. Example, man, this is gonna be a rough week. They want me to make a presentation in English. Despite, used to say that something happens or is true even though there's something that might prevent it from happening or being true. Example, despite having the best team, Barcelona didn't win the Champions League. Dawn, the time of day when sunlight first begins to appear. Example, we arrive before dawn. Rocket's red glare. A rocket is a device that shoots into the air and also used to be used as weapons. A glare is caused by a strong light, so we can imagine that during a battle, many rockets shooting could cause a red, fiery glare. Example, the sun's glare is making it difficult to drive. Pop it by 10 diamond rings to get that mockingbird to shut the hell up. But I wasn't going to tell Gloria she was a terrible singer. That's just taking a bath with a toaster. Still the thought of that poor little thing stuck in there like a hostage, listening to that racket days on end. I just couldn't take it. And if the Billy got one push, Papa's gonna kill the Billy God. I'll tell you what Papa's gonna do. He's gonna take a turn on that mic. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been thinking if it's a chance to bond, I should take it. Oh, AJ, that's great. I think that the sound of my voice shouldn't be the only thing that the baby should hear. Same page. Breaker, breaker, Big J. Baby, what's your 20, over? Why, oh, that's so cute. You sound like Smokey and the Bandido. <laughs> go on, go on. Hi, kid, this is your dad, Jay Pritchett. Uh, we're all pretty excited to meet you. Just a heads up, I might be a few years older than you're expecting, but on the plus side, we're very comfortable. <laughs> What's that? Nothing. Tough woman. <laughs> what are you doing in there, you sleeping? <laughs> Are you sleepy? Ah, still daddy's turn. Leaving 17 dead and thousands without power. Hi, Jay, please. It's bad that the baby listens to such terrible things. It's heard worse. Jay, do you know a good one hour dry cleaner? And I don't mean the must be in by 10, only on weekdays you need a coupon kind. I mean a hard one hour. This conversation feels like a hard one hour. And what do you need to clean for? It's spotless. There's mustard here from Reuben's Reuben. That's what happens when you put a narcissist in charge of snack day. Okay, it's my turn again. Baby, is your mother again? Gloria, why don't we give him a break? He probably needs a minute because he just learned about a deadly tornado. Okay, stop calling him a he. What if he's a she and you're making her upset? I told you, that's just the shorthand I'm using. Don't jump right, down yeah, my throat. You always, you think I don't know Do you really want your unborn baby to hear you fighting like this? Studies show it's unhealthy for a fetus to be exposed to a stressful environment. Studies? You're 13. Read a comic book. What time does your game start? I have to be there at three for hitting practice. Batting practice. Not for me. Jay, I don't want our baby to think that he's coming into an unhappy home. Let's promise that we're never, ever going to fight in front of him. Right. No fighting in front of the baby. OK, good. Twinkle, twinkle, little light. Gloria, stop it. I am stop it. Going. No more singing. Why? Because you stink. You're a terrible singer. Come on, let's get some lunch. How dare do you uh, tell uh, me uh, that uh, I no, am? No, 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 no fighting in front of the baby. We just made a deal. Yeah, but that's not fair because I am always in front of the baby. Gloria, you're as close to perfect as a woman gets. Nothing wrong with one tiny little flaw. Yours is when you start to sing, it sounds like something got stuck in the vacuum cleaner. That's your job. Ah, no. That is just your stupid stupid opinion, Jay, but I am very angry at you, and I am going to make a list of all the things that I am going to scream at you as soon as this baby is out of me. I didn't think it all the way through. Please rise for the national anthem. 
I'm gonna show you who can sing. Gloria. Mm. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Despite all the evidence to the contrary. Jose, can you see by the early light? Which I guess isn't so bad. saying is I hope to God you don't have your mother's singing voice but man I hope you get her self-confidence <laughs> try to get some sleep I'll talk to you in the morning yes you did it awesome job you made it all the way to the end of this lesson you know one of the most important parts of learning English is putting in that daily practice so thank you for deciding to do that with us and if you think a friend of yours would enjoy making learning English fun, why not share this lesson with them? I'm sure they would appreciate it a lot. You should definitely check out our free three-part mini course, which will teach you with one of the funniest ever scenes from Friends. We would love to see you there. You can check out that and learn more by clicking right over here or in the description box down below. You can also subscribe to us. We will send you our newest lessons. Do that right here. And I have another lesson that I really think you will love. Click right here to find that. All right, thanks so much for joining me today. Now go out there and kick ass with your English. Oh yeah.